this book is called Come Home With Us and it's about different kinds of homes all over the world. In Brazil, the cities are crowded. People live in high-rise apartments and makeshift homes. I'm Matteo. My family and friends live close by. It's great. We can call each other from the balcony. Who wants to come and play with Katya and me? We'll show you where we live. Hello, I'm Matteo. Oh, look. That's what Matteo's house looks like. In Afghanistan, for centuries nomads have moved home every few days to find fresh grazing land for their animals. I am Adil. My camel will carry our tent and belongings when we move tomorrow. We love to be on the move. We don't like to play and stay in one place. Let's look in their tent. Ah, look, they have everything they need inside their tent. In Japan, some homes have partitions made of wood and paper. Moving them around can change the shape and size of a room. We always leave our shoes outside before entering our house. I'm Kento. We are having dinner. Where do you think my sister Mummy and I are going to sleep? Let's see. Oh! Look at that. They've made a bedroom by shifting some of the screens. On the island of Sumba in Indonesia, the houses are tall and have roofs made of straw or corrugated iron. At night, the animals live underneath. Inside, the family lives on the first level. Grain is stored on the second level. And a space is left above for the spirits of the family's ancestors. I'm Slumet. Tuti and I are going to fetch grain for the animals. Do you want to climb the ladder with us? Ah, look, there's the grain, and there's the ladder. Isn't that lovely? In Britain, most people live in streets of little houses. In towns, houses are made of brick with slate or tile roofs. In the country, some old houses have thatch roofs. I'm Bridget. My friend Owen is coming for tea. Jamie is upstairs. I wonder who else is at home. There's Grandpa's bike. Oh, there's Jamie and there's Grandpa. In Australia, where Aborigines have lived for thousands of years, I'm Gillen, my Grandpa is an artist. He tells us stories under the stars. Where do you think we like to sleep? In the house? Oh, look, they sleep outside when the weather is good, under the stars, listening to Grandpa tell stories. In Mali, homes are built with mud bricks and covered with wet mud, which the hot sun bakes dry. People spend most of the day in the shady trees and courtyards and sleep inside at night. I'm Asitan. We're on our way to school. Our little brother, Isika, is too young. Can you find him? Oh, look, there he is, sleeping inside. There's a bricklayer building a new house. This is the world. It's a very big place and people have found ways to make shelter for themselves all over and in different ways. What kind of house does, do you live in? What does it look like? Maybe you could draw a picture of your home and we could make a story about your home. <laughs>